Okinawa Church. This is my video coaching series. Today we're going to talk about premature ejaculation, which a lot of guys seem to worry about. So I have an email here from a guy that I'm going to read, and then I'll talk about how porn and masturbation habits tie in to premature ejaculation. A lot of guys think that if they don't masturbate, or if they haven't uh, had an orgasm recently, then when they actually have sex, they won't last very long. But that's not necessarily true. So he says, Hi Noah, so here's my situation. I'm 27 years old, and I've been watching porn and masturbating since I was about 12 or 13. Other than a few times being sick and going on family vacations, I rarely went a day without at least once looking at porn and masturbating. In November of 2013, my, fr my friend showed me Gary Wilson's TED Talk and I began my journey to going porn pre. If you haven't seen that TED Talk, watch it. Watch this video first and then go watch that one right afterward. Of all the videos I've seen in my entire life, this video had the greatest impact on my life. I watched it and it opened my eyes to what had been my porn addiction and how much pain it had caused me in the last however many years through sexual and emotional dysfunction. And it showed me that there was light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, it's called The Great Porn Experiment by Gary Wilson. Watch it. I struggled at first and couldn't really get a good streak going. Finally, a year and a half later, I had a streak that lasted 24 days. So it took this guy a year and a half to get a streak of just over three weeks. I'm not saying that it took him a long time, so we should be ashamed of that. I'm saying that that's awesome because he persisted over a year and a half, continuing to try, continuing to know that this was right, that giving up porn and masturbation for him was the right thing to do, even after a year and a half of relapsing and failing. Good on you for your persistence, man. I love that. I didn't watch porn and I didn't masturbate that whole time, that 24 days. I unfortunately relapsed, but when I was able to eject... Um, but when I did, I was able to ejaculate by barely touching myself. I know about regaining sensitivity, but I don't want to be that sensitive. Is this something I should be concerned about, or is this simply part of the reboot process? It never happened when I was PMOing every day. So that's what a lot of guys think. It's like, oh, I can't give up masturbating altogether because then I'll just explode as soon as I, as soon as I touch anything with my penis. You know, I'll only be able to last 10 seconds in bed with a woman. And that's not necessarily true. Sure, it might happen a couple of times, but it's all part of the learning experience. I can tell you that it's definitely possible to never masturbate at all and still have lengthy, pleasurable sex with your partner. Now, how premature ejaculation develops, I think, and I've seen anecdotally that this is true, it depends a lot on your masturbation habits. For me, premature ejaculation was never a problem. My problem was delayed ejaculation. I either couldn't reach an orgasm at all, or it took me a hell of a long time and a lot more stimulation than it should have, as well as, you know, ED. Before I could tackle the DE, I had to get rid of the ED. And that's because I believe that when I was using porn and masturbating, it was less about reaching orgasm for me and more about prolonging the experience for as long as possible, getting as much new content as I could, seeing as many videos as I could, always seeking that novelty that porn, internet porn offers. So I would delay my orgasm for you know, 30 minutes, an hour or more, and by doing so, I trained my body not to have that climax for a long time, and that translated into my actual sexual experiences with women. Now other guys, they do the opposite. They try to reach orgasm as quickly as possible because they don't have much time or they're worried about getting caught. And over years of perpetuating this habit and this sexual response pattern, that also translates into real sex. They become um, premature ejaculators. They can't last very long in the bedroom because they've trained themselves over years to come quickly. Now, a lot of guys, or some guys, get the worst of both worlds. They've desensitized themselves enough with porn that they now have ED and can't really get an erection, but as soon as they do, or even before they do, they climax. So they have ED and premature ejaculation, which is the worst of both worlds. But all of this is completely reversible 
by abstaining from porn, abstaining from masturbation, rewiring for real intimacy. And we see that with guys who have delayed ejaculation, it tends to, that time it takes to get to orgasm, normalizes and reduces. And with guys with premature ejaculation, it normalizes too, it increases. And that's what we see most of the time. So don't be disheartened. A lot of times, also the sensations that we receive during sex and during masturbation are so different that we can't really predict how our body is going to react during sex by masturbating. So you may come very quickly through masturbation because you're so used to that pattern, but when you actually have sex, it might be very different. It might uh, take a lot longer for you to reach that orgasm. As far as when you have sex, what can you do to stave off a premature ejaculation? I have a few tips. Uh, number one, relax. Don't tighten up. Remember to breathe. Don't uh, try not to be anxious. Just calm down. Have some fun. Because when you're all tight and anxious, that tends to force the orgasm more quickly than it should ha than it should happen. If you're relaxed, if you're calm, and just enjoying the moment, you can be more in tune with your body, and you can tell when you're approaching that orgasm. And if you don't want to orgasm yet, you can pull out and just take a break. Take a break for 30 seconds, a minute, and then go back to it. And you can also use what's called the PC muscle, or kegels, which is where you tighten up that muscle that you s use to stop yourself from peeing, and that can help delay orgasm as well. You can Google that. There are some exercise programs that you can do for your penis to make that muscle stronger, and that can help delaying orgasm as well if that's what you want to do. And if it should happen that you experience premature ejaculation with a partner, don't treat it like such a big deal. All right, it's often our own insecurities that we bring into that situation that make it a big deal, that make it awkward. Don't apologize for it. Just laugh it off. I mean, it probably won't be that long before you're ready to go again and make up for the short performance. I mean, some women even enjoy a man who orgasms quickly. I mean, just imagine that your partner is so turned on by you that they come almost immediately when having sex with you. That's pretty flattering. I've spoken to women who enjoy that. Don't worry about it too much. Don't get anxious about it because it's often that anxiety, that worry that causes us to tighten up and prematurely ejaculate in the first place. So relax. Don't treat it like such a big deal. If you appreciate these videos and you want to show that appreciation because these have added value to your life, you can donate to me at addictedtointernetporn.com. If you have a story or a question like this that you'd like to get my feedback on in a video message, you can find out how to contact me in the description below. Send me three to four detailed but brief paragraphs. And also, share these videos with other people. If you think that they add valuable content, if you think that they can help others, share them. I'm trying to reach as many people as possible. Coach Church out.